Hi, it's Liz from Little Homestead on the Hill, and today I thought I would show you guys how I make my extract. extract I also make a vanilla extract and I also gonna start making a orange extract here so this is just like orange peels that you get off your oranges and this right here is actually three years old I made this three years ago and as you can tell I am almost out so I need to make some more so I want to teach you guys how to do that so all you need is some almonds this is for your um, almond extract I got this off of Amazon and then I have some vanilla beans right here, which I will show you. And these also came off of Amazon. And then I just have a bottle of vodka. And that's it. It's not the cheapest vodka, but it's not the most expensive vodka. So it's not like you're going to be drinking it. So it's going to be going into your baking. So let me show you how I do this. Let's start with the orange. So like I said, I have some orange peels right here. All I'm going to do, and it's so simple to make, is fill it up with some vodka. Since I don't have a lot of orange peels, I'm only going to do halfway up, just like that. Put the lid back on it. And I'm just going to put this to the side right now. So the next thing we're going to do is make our almond. And make sure you get, it has to be um, natural almonds. So no, no salt, no nothing, just natural. So all you gotta do for that is grab another mason jar and put one fourth cup of almonds. Actually, let's do one and a half. So that doesn't look like it's quite enough. So okay, one half cup of almonds. Put this to the side, and we're just going to pour our vodka all the way up. Of course, knowing me, I spill it everywhere. Up. And the same thing with, with the orange, we just put the cover on it. So there is our almond extract. So next we're going to do some vanilla beans and I have some right here. I typically do five per jar. So and this is grade B, they're from Indonesia. I think I paid like $10 for these on Amazon. So let's grab five of these out. They just come in a clump like this. Put the rest in the bag. And what you want to do is see these are vanilla bean pods, so all the flavors inside. So you want to just like slice a little hole down the side, just like that, and put them inside your jar. Don't worry if they stick out. Actually, I'm gonna cut them in half because they are sticking out a little bit too much. So on this one, I'm gonna slice this one too in half. Cut it and put that in the jar. If you hear noise in the background, it's just my, my washer machine. It makes my sink gurgle and I don't know why. So, but the same thing with these. So, vanilla extract, vanilla extract is so expensive and making it from home is so cheap. I bought the vodka for $10 and like I said, the vanilla bean pods for $10. So I'm gonna be making a huge container of this for 20 bucks. And if you bought this in the store, it would cost you so much more money. So we are going to fill that and put a lid on that. Let's see how much I have left of the vodka. So and that's what is left. I'm gonna try to make another one. I'm gonna do one more of them. Cut it in half and slice it up. Just like that. And put the lid on it. So what you want to do with all these extracts now 
is you wanna store these in a cool, dark place. I usually put them in my cabinet up here because I don't use that cabinet that much. I put them back there. I give them three to six months just to, you know, do its stuff. They will turn dark like this the more you use it. And I've also, too, when I've used all this up, I have taken the vanilla beans out and I have um, scraped them and I've used them for like cakes or pastries or anything that you would like, you know, vanilla bean in. So, but that is so simple to make your own at home. No reason to pay the ridiculous prices that the grocery stores, you know, ask you to pay for. When 20 bucks, I made four different extracts. Well, I hope you guys like this video.